So I was asked a question in the comments to find a way to take the data that we used when we were composing our graph comparing the temperature to the relative activity of lactase and the glucose production to correlate that graph which we originally had placed in a scatter plot to a line graph. So the problem that the commenter was experiencing is when you first select all of this data uh, both the x values, that is temperature, and the y values, glucose produced. We had used both of these sets of data to initially build our scatter plot. The problem is when you choose line graph, it actually composes two separate lines based off of each of these columns of data. So you can see here the blue line represents the temperature values, while the red line represents the glucose values. So the question that the commenter had was, how can I keep it from doing this? And I've got three solutions for you. The first thing you need to understand is that Excel always, with line graphs, will try and make the data that we've plugged in separate series. So we have to find a way to overcome um, the problems that Excel itself creates. So the first of these three techniques is my preferred way, but I'll show you the other two as well, just so that you'll have different options depending upon what you're more comfortable with. So to start, I'm going to delete this graph and deselect the data. Okay, so nothing selected. I'm going to choose line again, and that gives me a blank chart area. Now I'm going to right-click the chart area and choose select data. That brings up the select data source window. And I'm going to ignore everything on this side right now and instead come over here where it says series and I'm going to click add. That adds a new series called series 1 and that also gives me the option to name the series, choose the y values of the series and the category x-axis labels. So this is what's going to allow us to make our line graph from our data. So I'll start by clicking this little square here to the right of the Y values. This actually is the way that you'll select your Y values. So I click it, it brings this up, where now any cells I drag my mouse over will be selected as the series source data. So I'm going to come here for my Y values and I'm going to choose B2 through B7 because those are my Y values. Okay, But I'm not done yet. Now I've got the category x-axis labels, so I'm going to click here on the little square next to that. It again brings up that window where I can drag my mouse over the cells I'm interested in, so I'll drag it over A2 through A7. And then I'll just click OK. So that now gives me my series based off of my x values and my y values. You can see my x values are on the axis for temperature. My y values are of course on the y axis for the glucose. And my graph represents the correlation between those x values and those y values. Now I need to clean up this graph a little bit before I move on to the next two methods. So the first thing I'll do is delete the series legend and then of course I'm going to right click on format on the grid lines and choose format grid lines and I will change the color to no line. Before I add in my titles, the last thing I want to address is the fact that right now our starting value um, is in the middle here when I really want that initial value to be on my y-axis. So what I'll do is I'll click my x-axis and then I'll right click and choose uh, format axis and I'm going to come up here to scale in the window that opens and there's a check mark here by vertical axis crosses between categories. I'm going to deselect that and choose OK. And now my graph starts on the Y axis. It starts at zero for the X value, so that's good. Now I just need to add in my title and my axis titles. So I'm going to come to chart layout in the ribbon. I'm going to choose chart title, title above chart, and this will be the effect of temperature on lactase activity. It can be whatever yours is. And I'm going to just increase my chart area a little bit here. And then I'm going to come back up to the ribbon and I'm going to choose axis titles. I'll start with the horizontal or x-axis. 
in the title below it and I will type in temperature and then in parentheses I'll just put a big C to represent Celsius and then I'm gonna come back up to axis titles one more time and I will do vertical axis title rotated title and I'm going to put in there glucose and in parentheses I'll do milligrams slash deciliters close parentheses and there we have our line graph. So that's way one. That's my preferred way. For the next two ways, I'll show you how you can actually achieve similar results, but I'm not going to clean up the graphs uh, because I believe it'll be overly redundant um, or just redundant. <laughs> okay, so the first way I'm going to do is let's say that I've selected all of the data. And again, I choose charts and I choose line, and that gives me that nasty graph that has both uh, columns represented as individual series. Well, then all you have to do is right click, choose select data, and again, it's going to bring up this window. And notice we already have our two series. Series one actually represents the x values, while series two represents the y values. So we need to combine the x and y values to give us one of these two series as the correct one. So I'm going to delete one of these two series and keep the other one and modify it. Because series 2 already has my B column values in for the y values, which are our y values, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to remove series 1. So I have series 2 now, but notice my x values are not correct. So I'm going to come here to category x axis labels. Again, click on that little square, and I'm going to choose my temperature values. And then when I come back and I hit OK, voila, I now have the correct x values and the correct y values, and my graph is the correlation between those two. So that's method two. For the final method, all you would do is select your y values and then choose line. And again, notice that our x values are not correct. So I'm again going to right click the graph, select data, and then come over here to category x axis labels for my series, select the temperature values, and when I hit OK, that will give me that same graph with the correct y values and the correct x values. So I will delete these two smaller graphs and leave the big one in the Excel file. And that's all there is to it.